Today, we're looking at the sanguine temperament. The sanguine is called the sunshine temperament. Sanguine is a social outgoing person who likes to be with people. They are the easiest to identify in a large crowd. When you want someone to bring life to the party, that would be the sanguine. Let's look at them in their inclusion needs. Histrionic behavior, that is to be the center of attention. Sanguines like the stage and they like when the lights are flickering and everything is focused on them. They like the attention. Neurotic behavior. They need social approval and acceptance. Inclusion strengths. Friendly and warm, outgoing and inspiring, enthusiastic and optimistic, relationship oriented, like people, interact freely. Those are the inclusion strengths. Inclusion weaknesses, talkative, exaggerate, impulsive, undisciplined, apt to take on the behavior of others, ignores responsibility, always want to be with people, and they swing. Let's just pause here for a minute as we look into a couple of these. Sanguines are known to exaggerate things. They blow it up, make it look bigger than it really is. They talk a lot. And uh, sometimes they talk and get themselves in trouble because of just they just keep on talking. Um, they swing. Um, in other words, they swing. It's the only temperament that will swing from one side of the pendulum to the other, from dependent to independent. Uh, let's look at them in their control needs. Independence, self-indulgent, attention, approval, acceptance, recognition, control strengths, good decision-making ability, caring, charming, control weaknesses, gambling, alcohol, drugs, sexual indulgence, weak-willed, and cannot say no. When things are not going their way, um, if the odds are against them in some way or another, and uh, they cannot, they don't know how to fix things, not to get their life in order, they will resort to gambling, alcohol, drugs, and sexual indulgence um, because they're weak-willed. Sanguines don't know how to say no. They will say yes to everything, although they cannot deliver on what they say yes to. Affection needs to be told they're loved, needed and appreciated. Romance approval, to touch and be touched. Affection strengths, express love, receive love, emotionally open. Affection weaknesses, easily dissatisfied if they constantly, uh, if not constantly reassured that they're loved. Demanding, jealous. Let's look at how they rate themselves and others. Without people, they think they are nothing. They would say this, if I do this or that, people will accept me. 
if they do not accept me, I will die. Of course, you know that's not true, but that's how they feel. Awfulizing. It's awful if people don't accept me. Without their love, I am nothing. Low frustration tolerance. I can't stand being alone. Being alone drives me crazy. I can't stand confrontation. Let's look at how they deal with stress. Sanguine stress comes from trying to attend too many functions or not enough invitation to functions. In order for sanguines not to be stressed, they need to maintain balance when accepting social invitations and accepting the fact that they will not get invited to all the parties. Forgiveness. Sanguines rarely learn from their mistakes because they keep repeating them over and over again. I call them the repeat offenders. They do not hold a grudge for long. They will express hostility, but in a few minutes, they will be back apologizing. They are very forgiving. When they are forgiven for a wrong, it will not be too long before they are forgiven again for the same thing. It's hard to keep up with a sanguine, but they will win with their charm. Here's some counseling tips. In order not to be stressed, maintain balance when accepting social invitations. You cannot get invited to or get involved in every party in town. Avoid adopting bad behaviors to get attention. Learn to anticipate the results of your words and actions. Please note, the NCCA personality profile is called the APS, Arno Profile System. It measures compatibility and incompatibility for marriage, uh, profession, leadership, and much more. To identify your inborn temperament, contact an NCCA counselor by contacting the home office in Sarasota, Florida, or you may email me at alhibbert47 at gmail.com. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Hibbert um, from the program Meet, Motivating, Equipping, Empowering, Training. Thank you. Until next time, please subscribe.